Trinity family. I'm Dave Sturgis, your church historian, via online video today. I hope you like that catchy, metronomic tune I asked Robert to play. French organ composer Marcel Dupré's Les Cloches du Perros Guirec. Like village sounds of rural France inspired him, it brings clocks to our minds. And I'm here beside one of Trinity's oldest possessions, a grandfather, or more formally known as a brass dial case clock. It dates back to 1750, and we have just repaired and restored it to full working order after years of derelict neglect, first around the rectory and then here for the past 15 years since former rector Nicholas Porter and his family graciously refurbished the library and outfitted it with some of these long stored furnishings. It's not currently known exactly who gave it or when the church may have acquired it, but it's almost as old as Trinity Parish itself. Made by White and Matlock, it's an 18th century fine example of American clock making then throughout the 13 colonies. Its case is of cherry and mahogany and its dial is brass. Now I come from a family of case clocks which were in our homes for generations. One of my earliest memories is of the scolding my army colonel grandfather gave me when, as a toddler, playing hide-and-seek with my older brothers, I unlocked the door and climbed inside the case of the one they had in their Brooklawn Park Bridgeport home. Ironically, I've been fascinated by them since. I grew bothered by Trinity's clock, broken and still, as I, along with you, sat through years of meetings and forums here. And this year, staff, wardens, and vestry agreed with me when I urged that we get it going. Before COVID hit, I got it into the hands of two individuals who took care of mine, Kirtland Crump and Mark T. Dudley, two master antique clock repairers and dealers trained craft members of the British Horological Institute. And we, here in Connecticut, are lucky to have them around. Fortunately, Mark discovered its true provenance and that enough of its parts were still within to restore it. Two missing components were the finials and plinths on its bonnet and its bell was too chipped and broken to fix. Mark handcrafted replacements with period materials. The results, as you can see, and you will hear, are magnificent. It will now grace the library 
for years to come. And it will prompt meetings to move along with schedule. Our more elemental TikTok, if you will. And as we finish waiting out COVID, there will be, thanks to Peggy, other Trinity presentations and tidbits on our historic treasures as we prepare for our 300th anniversary as Connecticut's second oldest parish. Thanks and stay safe.